Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again, General Technology Knowledge. Today we will continue our lesson about basic PLC GE. So in the previous video, we already learned about data move, about move integer and move boolean. Okay. And uh, today we will connect this uh, value to the HMI we call uh, workbanks or we can call Provisi Simplicity HMI yes so uh, we can connect other data to the HMI Okay, so to uh, link with the HMI, first I need to create the some address from the Prophecy Machine Edition to uh, create the points in the project of Workbench. Okay, so this one. Uh, it is the button, so I will create person um okay and this one for reset person um also and this one for uh, integer so I create the person r example person r number one and also this one Person A number two and it array five, right? So it the output should be person A number seven. Okay, because it uh, two plus five, yes, equal seven. So this one uh, start from seven, okay. And one more for boolean, yes. This one is uh, on and off, so I will create person am also, yes. This one also. And uh, this one. It come from this output, right? So we no need to create the any uh, register. We just create this one for show at the HMI. Yes. So this one should be person um also. Yes person m also and this one yes it is the array line array number 10 so it will start from person m yes and this one person m also yes start from 12 and plus 10 so it uh, should be 22 okay and this one also person um because we need to link to the HMI so we uh, must create the memory register yes so save the program validate okay no error occur so we can download okay right now we already download successfully to uh, our PLC so let's go to uh, integer first yeah we uh, must create 
all these button okay this one also register for uh, person m yes person m also download again Okay, so uh, we will go to the HMI for create the point for test this first case. So go to the workbench. It is the previous project, yes, that we already learned in the previous video. So uh, we no need to create the project again, yes. So let's go to points and then uh, right click new points yeah and uh, this one we can choose another name or we can choose uh, this name yes example in one int yes it is the boolean because it's on and off yes just on and off so uh, boolean and uh, we must choose the device because we uh, link to the PLC project okay description we can uh, mention another name example uh, input integer number one okay and uh, person um right person um number five to be the same this button yes so uh, person um five zero zero five also the same this one also the same this one so i can write a uh, person um five okay and click okay and one more for uh, this one so we can uh, duplicate yeah duplicate the point and just change the name to uh, into integer and then go here and change this to go to device and person um number six okay and one more for uh, output so uh, the output we cannot duplicate because it uh, data type is boolean so we can click new and out integer yes to be the same this one for this uh, name we can also uh, write any name not uh, required to be the same this yes and choose the analog because it uh, value right so click ok again and this one we can mention the name description output integer number number one right and the address is person r number one okay so click OK. OK, right now uh, I would like to test only uh, this first. Yes. OK, update our project and then start our project of uh, HMI. OK, right now uh, we already start the project. So let's go to the screen, new screen. This two screen is the previous video, so I will create the new screen and then go to drawing, yes, and then go to here, example like this, and property go to like this okay the background should be um, like this okay 
and this one may be 1.5 to be small because it the border yes so like this go to drawing again and then I will create the button first for move right so go to button this one we can write move integer okay move integer cmd it mean that move uh, integer command yes go to font and then will be the maybe 22 is okay yes and then one more button for reset the value right so reset the value so it is the move reset right move integer sorry reset integer command or st it mean that reset integer command so go to here and then go to uh, even and then go to uh, mount up yes new procedure and then click new go to absolute value yes it mean that uh, when we press it on and release it mean that uh, off okay so go to points browser point yes input value 1 right so this one set to 0 yes and click ok and then new again to create the mount down sorry mount down and new procedure new yes absolute set point the same point yes but move to zero sorry move to one set to one yes save and then example screen screen three okay so we can test one button yeah it working properly or not okay so right now it working so one more for uh, this button so I can copy from this one yeah and change the name to uh, reset integer command yes reset so or st or st and then I just change this one to uh, input number two right yes into and then copy control c and then go here and then paste this one yes okay so test again let's go okay it working right now okay so uh, one more for this one right to show at HMI so go to here and then go to uh, this one example the rectangle and the color should be black okay and the string value yes string text should be uh, like this okay example like this go here 
then go to the okay center go to color example a uh, green color yes like this and go to array array yes to be center and then go to property yeah right click property and then go to text and browse the points yes browse points id go to the out right out integer yes out integer this one and this one uh, change to integer okay like this so save again so when I press uh, move yes it move num uh, number 5 to the output if I press reset it will move 0 to the output okay so we can apply all uh, this value to create another program that we want okay so uh, we will do the same as this for uh, another array integer and uh, boolean in the next video okay so thank you very much for watching my video and please comment under my video if everyone have any question yes and uh, don't forget like subscribe and share my video also to get more notification and more new video that I will uh, create for share to everyone okay so thank you very much again and see you next videos bye bye